Hi, Dr. Peter Dingle here, PhD, author, researcher, and an advocate for common sense health. This is part two of our series on cholesterol deception. The first one I put up was all about the origins of the cholesterol deception and the fact that it came out of incredibly poor science. From now on, I'm going to show you where the good science is and why cholesterol, this one, part two, is why cholesterol is so important for you. So I've got it in the center here, cholesterol, okay. Now, one of the first things I want you to understand is it's not public enemy number one. Whether it's LDL, HDL, VLDL, cholesterol total, it does not matter. You see, your body doesn't get it wrong. And the cholesterol doesn't come from the food we eat, and that can trigger it, but it comes from the stresses in the body. And I'll, I'll add on to that as we go through. But what I need you to consider is uh, cholesterol is an essential nutrient in the body. It's used in hundreds, hundreds upon hundreds of functions and roles and biochemical processes in the body. So to, to think all of a sudden that, hold on, it's the bad guy. No, it's not. In fact, cholesterol is just a symptom of the disease, of the stress, of the conditions that are causing the problem in the body. So what we want to do is stop the causes, inflammation, oxidation, acidosis, and what we want to do is stop worrying about cholesterol and focus on where the real issue is. So cholesterol is literally, one of the most important roles of cholesterol is that in fact, it immune system. It's incredibly important for the immune system. In fact, it shows that the uh, higher cholesterol levels um, uh, reduce the risk of colds, flus, viral infections, particularly as we get older. In fact, there's a large number of studies showing that the higher the cholesterol after the age of 50 and so on, uh, reduces your risk of uh, viral infections. So it's pretty important. It's a part of the immune system. Now, if it's a part of the immune system, imagine whenever there's some stress in the body, what's it going to do? increase the cholesterol levels, wherever there's some damage to be done. In fact, one of, the, one of the major roles of the cholesterol, where it gets targeted for being so bad, is the fact that when there's damage done in the arteries, and in this case, I'll just draw my simple artery, okay? There it is. We've got a little bit of damage happening right at that spot there. That's due to inflammation and oxidation. Okay, what happens then is that the body sends all its immune components there to fix it up. Now, guess what cholesterol is? It's a nice, spongy, soft band-aid. So it goes there to repair it. Now, if you don't fix it up properly, in other words, stop the inflammation, stop the oxidation, more cholesterol gets deposited. Now, you're thinking, hold on, but don't we want to unblock and get rid of it? No, the cholesterol is there to actually protect you. Later on, I'll explain this in a little bit more depth and I'll show you why it's not the cholesterol, it's the calcium plaque, and I'll explain why. So we've got the fact that it's an important part of the immune system. So whenever your immune system, whenever you are under stress, you're going to increase levels of cholesterol in your body. If you go to the doctor, you'll have, have the white coat cholesterol effect. If you have white bread, you'll increase the cholesterol, not from the bread, but because it puts stress on your gut and it puts stress on your nutrient level. So you will actually end up with higher levels of cholesterol, not because of the cholesterol in your diet. Now, the other second important, incredibly important part is cholesterol is used as a building block for so many processes. So just we'll do a building block there. And the one that comes to mind immediately is the fact that uh, the nervous system. All of your nerves have a nice protective rubbery-like coating called a myelin sheath. This myelin sheath is actually made out of cholesterol, a large component of cholesterol. So it's protecting the transmission of the nerve as a transmission along the nerve as we do everything. So it's very important. So when we find our people who have, uh, for example, multiple sclerosis, um, who have a, a deterioration of the myelin sheath, oh, hold on, oh, is that linked with low cholesterol? It probably is. In fact, we see that cholesterol is linked with a lot of these chronic illnesses. On the negative side, low cholesterol, higher levels of illness. So here we've got it. Cholesterol is the insulation sheet around all your nerves, but it's also the most, or, the most abundant organic chemical in your brain. Now, your body doesn't get it wrong. Why do we have so much cholesterol in the brain? That's the most abundant bi you know, biochemical in there, organic chemical. So why, why it's there is because it actually helps what are called the glial cells. And the glial cells, glial cells are like the, uh, the cleaners. They're the ones who do all the repair. For, for, for decades, we thought they were just junk cells filling up a bit of space and so on. But what we do know now is they are critical for repair um, and cleaning up and maintenance of your brain cells. 
So the glial cells are actually dependent upon cholesterol. Now we also know, and th this came out of a, um, uh, I think it was a Nobel Prize, but in 2001, uh, all the accolades, or we've discovered a new chemical that actually helps form the, the jun junction, what's called the synapses between the nerves and helps memory function. And guess what it was? Cholesterol. Cholesterol. So if you do anything to lower your cholesterol artificially, then guess what happens? You're going to have these other impacts around your body as a result, in your brain, on your nervous system, right back to the immune system. Now, another important structural component, so that was the first one, we'll put brain up here. Another one, obviously, is the hormones. Now, cholesterol is the building block of all your steroid hormones. So that means your estrogen, testosterone, uh, 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 DHEA, which is one of the ones which helps you with energy as you age, and all of these start to decline. So what we're seeing now is people prematurely, as a result of medications and poor science, literally their levels are going down even faster than ever. Now, we've got to put this in perspective, okay? We need, guys, guys, okay, we need testosterone. You know what testosterone does, guys? Yeah. Well, guess what else it does? And, it, and if you take the medication to lower your cholesterol, guess what's going to happen, guys? But don't worry, there's another drug on the market called Viagra from the same company. Oh, yep, one in the morning, one in the evening, one in the morning. This is a crazy situation. Drugs will target one minute area. It's like looking at the moon through a microscope. We need to actually take a step back and say, hold on, let's look at this whole picture. And so what we know is if you take the medications to lower the cholesterol or people with low cholesterol have lower levels of these steroid hormones which is what gives us our vitality and our energy and one of these other steroid or one of these other hormones is also vitamin d vitamin d like the steroid hormones is literally made out of cholesterol cholesterol is the building block of them and what we know despite all the myths out there most australians most people in western countries are deficient in cholesterol sorry deficient in vitamin d and so, what, why? Well, even if they go out in the sun, they can't manufacture it because they're low cholesterol. Something is interfering with the process of making the vitamin D. In fact, the name of vitamin D is called col calciferol. Col calciferol, okay? Why? Because col is the building block, the main important ingredient in it. So what we want to do here is understand that it's so, so important, but it's also critical for the, the production of bile. Now, bile... Um, you know, comes in your digestion, and you've heard various things about bile and so on. Bile is absolutely critical for digestion of fats, movement of fats through the um, body, getting in, getting out, also regulating the cholesterol. So bile is absolutely essential and cholesterol makes it. Now, with all this in mind, you're probably saying, wow, this is pretty important. It is. And in fact, I've only just named a few of them, but I need to go back to a fundamental concept. Your body doesn't get it wrong. And cholesterol is an essential nutrient for the body. And when we want to play God and the pharmaceutical companies want to play God, then they're going to muck around with one little molecule in there which can have ramifications all over and hence side effects, which is what I'll be talking about a little later on.